The universe is a vast and mysterious place, full of wonders beyond our wildest imagination. From the birth of stars to the collision of galaxies, the cosmos is a never-ending source of awe and inspiration. Fortunately, we live in an age where we have the technology to explore and capture the beauty of space through probes, telescopes, and satellites. These incredible devices have given us a window into the cosmos, revealing a stunning array of sights that are both mesmerizing and mind-blowing. In this video, we will take a journey through space and explore six of the most fascinating pictures ever taken from beyond our planet. Each image tells a story, a glimpse into the secrets and mysteries of the universe. And we will delve into the science behind these incredible pictures. Pale Blue Dot Back in 1977, NASA launched two spacecraft named Voyager to explore the outer planets of our solar system. Thirteen years later, on February 14, 1990, when Voyager 1 was approaching the edges of our solar system, the engineers made the decision to turn the spacecraft's camera to capture one last glimpse of our planetary neighborhood. From a distance of approximately 6.4 billion kilometers, further than any other human-made object had ever traveled before, Voyager 1 took 60 photographs to create the first ever portrait of the solar system. In one of these images, several colorful bands can be seen, which are rays of light due to close proximity of the sun. In the middle zone of one of the stripes, we can see a tiny Earth, represented as a mere 0.12 pixel dot with no visible features, blending into the darkness of space. In 1994, renowned astronomer Carl Sagan wrote a book in which he reflected on this image of our world, coining the term pale blue dot. Sagan remarked, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The very first image taken from space. In the early 1900s, humanity lacked the understanding of Earth's appearance from space, with the maximum altitude achieved for capturing images of our planet being around 22 kilometers through the use of large balloons. However, this changed when the United States obtained V-2 rockets from Nazi Germany after World War II. Scientists replaced the missile's explosives with observation instruments and equipped one rocket with cameras that could take photos every one and a half seconds. On October 24, 1946, this rocket traveled to a height of 105 kilometers and captured the first ever photograph of Earth from space. The image displays cloud formations and the curvature of the Earth in the southwest of North America. Although the rocket and camera crashed to the ground at a speed of 500 150 kilometers per hour, the recording tape remained intact in a steel can, allowing researchers to retrieve and analyze the images. The achievement was celebrated by scientists, who described the image in a 1950 National Geographic article as showing how our Earth would look to visitors from another planet coming in on a spaceship. First image of an exoplanet. We've always known that there must be habitable planets outside of our own solar system. Unlike the massive and luminous stars they orbit, however, these exoplanets are small and dark by comparison. They are difficult to see, even with incredibly powerful telescopes. To view an exoplanet, we need something even better. Enter the accurately named Very Large Telescope Array, which consists of four main 8.2 meter diameter telescopes and four 1.8 meter diameter auxiliary telescopes which could work independently of each other. Each of these mirrors can perceive light four billion times fainter than the naked human eye can. When the equipment works as a team, astronomers can see details 25 times greater than possible with each individual telescope. Using this incredible piece of technology, the first image of an exoplanet was captured. The technology allowed this history-making photo, although the exoplanet was primed to be discovered because it was truly gigantic. This exoplanet, which orbits a brown dwarf 230 light-years from us, is five times the size of Jupiter. 
floating with the whole world below. The story I am about to tell features a remarkable photograph of Earth and a great achievement by humanity. In 1984, NASA sent astronaut Bruce McCandless on a mission to test the manned maneuvering unit, a prototype space jetpack for astronauts. McCandless, who had never been to space before, flew aboard the space shuttle Challenger and, after some tests inside the spacecraft, ventured into the void of space with the MMU on his back. On February 7th, 1984, he became the first human to make a spacewalk completely untethered to his ship. The moment was captured in a panoramic photograph taken by the crew of Challenger, which showed McCandless floating about 98 meters away from the shuttle with only his jetpack. Surrounded by the blackness of outer space and the blue expanse of Earth beneath his feet, McCandless later revealed that he did not take the time to look down at Earth during his untethered flight, but did notice that he was flying over Florida at one point. McCandless believed that seeing the Earth from space changes an astronaut's perception of the world and our superficial differences as a species. First image of a survivor after a supernova. Supernovae are the most potent explosions known to exist in the universe. Despite their enormous distance from us, these explosions can be so bright that they remain visible during the daytime. In 1054, a supernova could be seen during the day for almost a month, and during the night for almost two years. Some supernovae occur at the end of a star's life cycle, such as the Type B stripped envelope supernova. This type of supernova occurs when most of a star's hydrogen is stripped away before it explodes. Many stars exist in pairs or triplets, unlike our solitary sun. In such a system, one star may begin to consume its companion's hydrogen. This is precisely what happened with supernova SN2001 IG, which occurred 40 million light years away in the NGC 7424 galaxy. Over millions of years, the companion star deprived its partner of its outer layer of hydrogen, which was utilized to conduct energy from the core outwards. A decade after the blast, when the light from the supernova had subsided, the Hubble Space Telescope captured a one-of-a-kind image. The survivor of a supernova that was also the thief star had caused its partner to explode in the first place. Which picture from today's video do you think is the most iconic? Let us know in the comment section below.